This clip is going to be part one of a two-part endocrine system series. So in this clip, we are going to start with the hypothalamus and the pituitary. These two glands are the master endocrine glands of the uh, endocrine system, and so it's important to understand their relationship and then the hormones that they produce and the effects of these hormones. So let's go ahead and begin. Um, let's shift our focus to this brain right here. If you remember from previous anatomy videos, the hypothalamus is going to be located right around here and it's attached through a stalk to the pituitary gland that sits inferior to it. As we look at a zoom up um, figure, this would be here the hypothalamus and then the pituitary sits inferior to it. And so what you're also going to notice is that the pituitary gland itself is divided into anterior and a posterior uh, section. And it's very important to distinguish them because each of those uh, sections of the pituitary gland are going to release their own uh, hormones. So let's go ahead and explore those. First thing, let's talk about the hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus is going to be the master endocrine gland and it's going to release some hormones that are actually going to act on the anterior pituitary. These hormones are what we call releasing hormones. So when the hypothalamus releases releasing hormones, these are going to stimulate the anterior pituitary. And so that's going to be this green part of the anterior pituitary right here. So this would be your anterior pituitary, also known as the adenohypophysis. All right. Some examples of those releasing hormones are going to be uh, thyrotropin releasing hormone. We call that TRH. Another example is gonadotropin releasing hormone, GNRH. And then a third example would be corticotropin releasing hormone, CRH. And so what these do is they're going to stimulate the anterior pituitary to release its corresponding hormones, which we will be discussing in a moment. All right, so next up, let's talk about those hormones that the anterior pituitary is going to release. And so the anterior pituitary is actually quite complex because it releases several different types of hormones and they act on different uh, organs of the body. And so let's look at a list of these hormones. So one hormone that the anterior pituitary is going to release is a hormone that we call TSH thyroid stimulating hormone. And so actually, what is going to stimulate this anterior pituitary from releasing TH TSH? Well, it's this TRH up here. So when the hypothalamus releases the releasing hormone, thyrotropin releasing hormone, that is going to stimulate the anterior pituitary from releasing uh, TSH. And as you can tell from the name, thyroid stimulating hormone, this hormone here is going to act on the thyroid gland and it's going to stimulate the thyroid to release its own hormones. Now a second hormone that um, the anterior pituitary is going to release is LH and the third is FSH. Luteinizing hormone. as well as follicle-stimulating hormone. And so these two are now under the control of GnRH. So GnRH is going to trigger LH and FSH release from the anterior pituitary. And so these two hormones actually work on the ovaries in females and the testes in males. Okay, so they're going to... Uh, 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 work on the gonads, hence the name gonadotropin-releasing hormone. Okay. If you want a little bit more detail, 
FSH is going to stimulate uh, the ovaries to produce, uh, to produce estrogen and it stimulates the testes to produce sperm, so spermatogenesis. As for LH, that is going to stimulate ovulation in a female and it's going to stimulate uh, testosterone secretion in the males. Okay. Now let's look at a fourth hormone that the anterior pituitary is going to release. ACTH. This stands for adrenocorticotropic hormone. Okay, And this is triggered to be released uh, when the hypothalamus releases CRH, corticotropic releasing hormone, or corticotropin releasing hormone. Okay. So ACTH is now going to be released by the anterior pituitary and it's going to act on the adrenal cortex. So the adrenal glands are now going to release their hormones in response to ACTH release by the anterior pituitary. Okay. Next up, we have GH. So the anterior pituitary also releases growth hormone. And just like the name implies, Growth hormone is going to stimulate mitosis, it promotes tissue growth in the body, okay? So it stimulates growth. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and shift our focus to the posterior pituitary. Okay, so the posterior pituitary is also known as the neurohypothesis. And the posterior pituitary releases two hormones that are actually synthesized by the hypothalamus. First hormone is oxytocin. And oxytocin is going to uh, stimulate uterine contraction uh, during delivery, as well as it initiates milk ejection. Okay? So the target organ, or where does oxytocin act on, that's going to be the uterus and the mammary glands. And then the second hormone that it's going to release is ADH. This stands for antidiuretic hormone. And so this hormone is actually going to act on the kidneys and it's going to uh, stimulate water retention. So water reabsorption or water retention. So these are the two hormones that the posterior pituitary is going to release.